Hello, welcome to today's edition of Crack and the Cryptic. Uh, one of the wonders of the internet is that uh, no one's in danger of catching my lurgy uh, through watching a video, uh, and you should all be very grateful for that. So let's have a look at today's times. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm not going to do too much talking today, because as you can probably hear, my voice is uh, about to give up. Popish types invitation to bird to call. Uh, no group taking month over rental agreement. Over rental agreement tenancy. Yeah. Break during school time is heaven. During school time, no. Nope. Intermission, maybe. Intern is scion. God, that is right. Intern is and scion there for during in school time term is plain and then scion for heaven. Uh, Council changes in South Vietnamese festival. Step. Tet is a South Vietnamese, uh, well, is a Vietnamese festival and South is S there. And step obviously in printing means uh, cancel changes suggested. Uh, let's go to this one. Humiliate MP with a spiced up union song. Humiliate, embarrass. MP with a spiced up union song. Goodness me, I don't know what that is. Anecdotes assuming Scottish smoker. A Scottish smoker will be a lum, L U M. Uh, anecdotes, Arna, maybe. Yes, okay. Two sort of bits of uh, uh, exotica here that I'm aware of that really helped. Now, ANA is a uh, is a word for a collection of anecdotes. I think there's some old English collection of anecdotes called an arna. Um, and lum for a Scottish chimney. Uh, again, appreciate that that's probably not that common knowledge unless you're Scottish, but uh, yeah. That's how it works anyway. An officer before journey finds close for a close friend. Officer before journey. Uh, uh, don't know. An outhouse on street is hidden. Stashed. Okay, so a shed. On ST for street there, and if something's hidden, it's stashed. Look at this one now. Uh, note group taking month over rental agreement. Uh, rental agreement is a let, I guess. A note group is going to be a Octuplet. Something that's over, it's up, is it? I suppose so. It's not easy. Foppish types invitation to bird to call. Uh, foppish type is a dandy. A poppin jay. Oh, that's a good sword. Invitation to bird to call poppin jay. <laughs> Very nice. Old German crossing barley, free to express great happiness. Old German, probably a jute. Crossing barley free, so that's going to be an anagram of barley. Jubi, jubilate. Go. Cover for face when headmaster breaks jaw. Yashmak. Uh, Jaw is yak, isn't it? So, when as headmaster HM, all in the middle of yak. Some very strange letters already. A J and two Ys there, could be a pangram. Uh, humiliate MP with a spiced up union song. Uh, I don't know. Military preparation of Frenchmen, the last word in craft. 
craft could be art, couldn't it? So, Frenchman, arm, armament. Yes, so here we've got Frenchman is M for Monsieur, Amen, the last word, in craft, which is art, and the whole thing is a military uh, preparation. So, another tricky bit of wordplay. Engaged in protecting cross, one combats evil. Uh, engaged in protecting cross. Put a bit of an X in this one. Uh, patriarch against wearing Hindu uh, garland. Well, a Hindu. Uh, sorry, Hawaiian Garland. Hawaiian Garland is everybody who sells crosswords needs to know the lie, L-E-I. Uh, it comes up all the time. So now we need a patriarch. I put V in the middle of that, as in, you know, what you might say if Liverpool played Man United, it'd be Liverpool v Man United. Uh, so versus uh, Patriarch Levi. Rugs taken up for daughter in Midlands Town. Uh, rugs taken up for daughter Stafford Let's see the midlands, is it? Ooh, rugs it's something like that because four D there would be the ending, so Rugs, Weeks, Mats, Stanford, Stanford, a British town. Should know that, but uh, oh well. Let's carry on. Alter ego. This looks like now. Yes, an officer is a lieutenant. For journey, here go. <coughs> Close friend is an alter ego, so humiliate. Exhibit. Okay, it's an anagram of humiliate MP and the letter A, and it means a union song. Engaged in protecting cross one combat evil amulet. Oh, a cross is a mule, isn't it? A mule is a cross between a I don't know a donkey and a horse or something. Uh, so engaged in is at. If you're at something, you're engaged in it. Air extremely assertive. M Lyle's composed. Uh, okay. Well, obviously this is. At least a partial anagram of M. Lyle. Extremely assertive. Okay. Secretary brought in recognised writer's back block. Secretary must be temp or PA, I would think. Recognised writer is a Followers pursue trialist, perhaps. Uh, no. Tragic scene of crime sitting in European tradition. Whew. No. Navy in Naples restored. So that looks like an anagram of Navy in Naples. And it, it's the name of a state, Pennsylvania. Plato finally coordinates knowledge, it's inspired it's oxygen. So we've got O there for Plato finally, final letter of Plato. Coordinates X, Y, <laughs> and then knowledge is gen. So, uh, 
Uh, man being prepared runs vehicle inside. Well, the player, as you can see, could go inside here. So let's go for that. Man being prepared runs vehicle inside. It could be. Servant. A man is a servant, and if you're prepared, you're set. Old band leader having Lawrence's put away horse. What on earth does that mean? Old band leader having Lawrence's put away horse. Old band leader Tom. Oh, there was some band leader called Tom something, wasn't there? Let's look at this one. Future minister in rising party hurried to suppress Rome. Uh, future minister. <coughs> I don't know I should, maybe Tom is a guess too far. Wader again seen on island is Ibis. So bis is a word that means again. So you've got bis on I there for island. Uh, pithy speaker tents going round pub. Tents could be taught, couldn't it? Or Indian city accommodates parking for historic location. Delphi. <laughs> Tricky. Uh, okay, that's oh, and here's one. Uh, Christmas season to bode ill ultimately. Uh, so that's just the final letters there of season to bode and ill. Christmas is a bit well, obviously. Supervised, well, it looks like overseen. Let's put that in and just justify it. Uh, one at sea securing lines. Okay, one, uh, anagram of one around verse there for lines. Right, followers, pursue. Pursue could be dog, couldn't it? Sheep dog, yes. Okay, so sheep are followers, pursue dog, trialist perhaps, sheep dog. A uh, tragic scene of crime, sitting in, uh, well, Elsinore, Shakespearean castles, uh, so, E-law, a European tradition around sin, works out okay. Uh, so I've got this funny anagram I've never heard of. What letters out. I need. I need another M. I need a T. And I need a P in there. Epistle. 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 <laughs> this could be an M. I think. Air extremely assertive. M. Lyles. Maybe it's a. I think this could be. Is this the Marseillaise? Yeah, this is an uh, lit, so it's it's an anagram of air, A E, for the extreme letters of assertive, M and Lyles with the S as well. So now what I have to do is remember how to spell this, which is something like that, I think. So w which vowels do I need here? Uh, I've already had. What do you have two eyes? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I need an A. I need two A's. Epithal Epithalamium. Well. I don't think it can be anything else. It could be etifa, etifalal, uh, something else. I think it's that. I'm going to guess that. Uh, secretary brought in recognised writer. Oh, notepad. Noted is uh, recognised. And the PA inside. So we were on the right lines there. And this is going to be something like an ordinance, isn't it, from future minister. In rising party, hurried to suppress a row. A row or row, row is din, isn't it? So, <coughs> what's going on? 
rising pot. Horrid to suppress. Horrid is rap. Oh, or demand then. So in rising party, in a reversal of a word for party, the word for party is a do, so do there. Hurried, ran, is suppressing, surrounding a word from row, or, which is din. That's very difficult, but I think it's correct. Uh, pithy speaker, tense, going round pub. Pithy speaker is an aphorist, I think. Uh, tense, going round pub. Pub is PH. The public house thing. Maybe it's. Uh, I think that must be right. So that would be an aorist, is a tense. I don't know what else it could be. Let's have a look at this one. 20, old band leader. Oh, goodness me. Ted, someone then. Ted. Having Lawrence's put away horse. Lawrence's could be TEs, couldn't it? TE Lawrence. So the plural of Lawrence's put away horse. Ordinand was right, I think. So Ted. Oh, I misspelt this. Could have done. Ah, uh, so Ted. Put away. Put away could be eat, couldn't it? Ted Heath. Old band leader, Ted Heath. Oh, that's brilliant. Lawrence's plural is T-E Lawrence and D-H Lawrence. So T-E, D-H, put away eat, H for horse. Wow, what a great clue. <laughs> There's a lot of wit in this crossword. Okay, let's submit that. I've probably made at least one spelling mistake. No, no spelling mistakes. Good. Haha. <laughs> That's a surprise, I guess. You can see, I think, here uh, at least one of the ways in which uh, I'm just not quite like a top absolutely top-notch solver you know there are I'm not certain but I think words like epithalam epi, <laughs> epithalamium will be a word that Mark and some of the other you know regular finalists in the times they will know that word and they won't procrastinate the way I did over you know trying to work out exactly how the anagram fodder unwound um, and you know, it, it would be a smoother process. Um, but having said that, I am not unhappy with that solve today. There were a, a lot of difficult word plays. Um, and I'm just going to check the dictionary for the aphorist. Hello. Uh, so, uh, sorry, we had a catastrophic computer crash there, but uh, back again. I've checked. Um, Aorist. It is indeed a, a, a tense in uh, in Greek, apparently. Um, so that's was what we suspected there. Ted Heath, I thought, was a reference to the prime minister for an old band leader. I thought it was a bit cryptic, but I think apparently there was a, a trombonist who was a, 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 a in the 1950s who was a band leader called Ted Heath. So uh, apologies if you're all shouting at your screens about my ignorance. Um, but yeah, my classical knowledge wasn't quite up to scratch there. Still, we did wade through this. Um, although I have to say it was a pleasure to do the wading. I thought this was a very clever puzzle today. Uh, lots of uh, different.
difficult wordplay. Um, and yeah, I hope you got something out of it. Um, just to mention, there will be a video going up this afternoon, a special video. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, uh, the listener crossword and perhaps uh, certainly a contender for the best puzzle I've ever seen. Um, so that'll be worth watching for those of you interested in such things. Uh, and thanks for watching this edition, and we'll see you again next time on Crack and Cryptic.